It really is the perfect neighborhood. Top-notch schools, very clean, very quiet. I should know, I live across the street. The five plus four, three car, all sub-zero appliances, room for a pool. Now, does the neighborhood provide security? Because that is very important to us, you know, these days. Funny you should ask, there's Carl, our Department of Homeland Security. <laughs> Hi, Carl. I think we found our new home. <gasps> You're gonna love it here, I promise. So, wanna head over to my office to get the paperwork started? Great. Everybody in the car. But I don't wanna see my room again. Oh, it's four walls in a closet for crying out loud. Move it. What is that? schedule for next week. Tuesday, the album release party. Wednesday, you're performing at the Source Awards. Oh, come on. Hey. <laughs> I got your new goldfish. Patrice. My fine ass Shaka Kani, gin and tonic Nubian princess. And favorite record executive. Now remember, if he starts to look sick to you, don't give him an Alka-Seltzer like you did the last one, because he will explode. All right, I got it. I'm going to name him Goldie, like a Mac. What's up, Pimpin? Pimp Juice. You're welcome. No. <laughs> Yo, what's cracking, Goldie? Yeah, what's going on? How you like your new crib, Pimpin? I know what you're thinking. Why did Method Man and Red Man buy a crib in a gated community full of white people? Was it for the safety? That's how you use pepper spray. It's real simple. Just, uh... <laughs> Hell no! Was it for the clean, fresh air? What's that smell, son? Fresh air, bruh. Fresh air. Hell no again. <laughs> hey, did we move here for this fly hot tub? Uh -uh, that ain't it either. We moved here because we was on the bubble. Got rich, son. Plus, there's one more reason. Yeah, one mean, angry reason. I heard that. <laughs> hey, mama. Hi, baby. <laughs> I died. Hi. That's what you get for smoking in the house. How you know it wasn't him? Baby, were you smoking in the house? No, mama. Ah, that's what you get for trying to point the finger at my baby. <laughs> I told you, boy, that dry snitching to get your head down, boy. Damn it, Georgetown. Y'all ain't been the same since AI went pro, man. Defense! Okay, there we go. Oh, ladies! I know what you're thinking. Brought his big map from the group home, doing living with his moms. Well, I'll put it this way. Just remember, if you put your mind to it, you work hard, you stay focused, you can be whatever you want to be. As long as you make enough money to buy mama a big house. Oh, and no white women. Dog, you get like Stevie Wonder. All right, I am on my way to work. Come on now, we got record and tour money pouring in, so you can quit working Baby, anytime. Baby, you know a person ain't nothing without a job. The Lord Jesus, master of this house, was a carpenter. I worked a night shift at a toll booth. We all have a place in this glorious kingdom. You hoochies better stay away from my meatloaf. <laughs> Ooh. Meatloaf? Who 
song kind of sends a positive message about accepting women of all different body types. Are you kidding me? What, are you afraid to go over there? Is that what it is? Please. You're afraid to confront them, aren't you? Do you want me to get killed? Is that what you want? Hey, I'll go. I want to check out their crib. They have a baby over there? Call the security guard. It's his job to deal with these things. Oh, Carl won't do a thing. Why hasn't that idiot been fired? You know damn well why. My client, against my advice, I might add, has elected to decline the homeowners association's most generous cash offer of 100,000 for injuries sustained when the resident ran him over. In lieu, he would like in writing that he cannot be fired, that his SpongeBob lunchbox be replaced, and that all residents wave to him when they drive past his booth. My name is Nancy. <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna remember that. Come on in. <laughs> Sorry about the mess, but you know, we had the crew over and you know, we was kicking it last night. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. We had a party. Oh, that must have been your guests. I saw urinating on my rose bushes. You know what? I'm sorry about that. But see, some <laughs> just ain't got no <laughs> manners. But it won't happen again. Yes, well, I know it won't. I have something for you. It's a notice from the Neighborhood Association. We're invoking Article 16 of the bylaws. <laughs> That's funny. We were just invoking a little something, something right now. You want to join in? <laughs> um, Article 16 states if a resident consistently violates noise statutes as set forth in their purchase agreement, they are subject to a forcible sale based on a unanimous vote of all homeowners. I have no idea what that means. It means you're moving. Have a nice day. Hey, yo, Doc! Doc! Look, man. They trying to kick us out of our house, homie. Damn! Ooh, what a night at that old nasty toll booth. <laughs> Sucking up exhaust all night. Then some Billy Joe looking drunk is gonna break through my gate. I have to do the whole thing by hand. No! Yes! Baby, the only thing that keeps me going is coming home to my beautiful house. Hey. Oh. Good night. Night, night, Mama. What about me, Doc? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, yo. We in big trouble, man. What's the verdict, little bit? They can really take away our house, huh? Man, this thing is legit. Man, are you sure? What? Man, I've been in and out the penile system since I was 12 years old. <laughs> Trust me, son. I know how to read a legal document. So it's like that. They could just take our house away just because they say so. Just another example how the white devil mm. be sticking it to us, man. Us? Dog, you don't even live here. You just eat our food and agree with everything we say. Was well, it my fault that everything you say is right? <laughs> We ain't moving, man. This house is my mom's dream. She worked 12 hours a day my whole life just so I can get out the projects and do what I always dreamed of doing. Man, ain't nobody believed in my stinking ass except her. I believed in your stinking ass, man. <sighs> Look here, man. The way I see it up in this here joint, it's only one way to remedy this situation. Shake up, dog. We going to war. <laughs> yeah, hold on, little soldier. All right? Ain't nobody going to war. Hell no! If there's one thing I learned in the PJs, violence only leads to more violence. You damn straight! Shut up. Okay, then. Look, they're taking a vote. Unless we get these people to like us, they're gonna kick us out of here, man. 
And that ain't gonna ride well with mama. Mm -mm. How are we gonna get a bunch of middle-aged white people to like us? Fruitcake. Man, white people love that stuff, man. It's their snack of choice. <laughs> Left his lights on. Hey, yo, bro. This your car? Take it. Take it. It's yours. What? So I can count on your vote? Hello there. May I help you? Hey, I'm your neighbor from up the block. What's cracking? Dad, I'll be with you in a moment. I'm sorry, you were saying? I was saying, uh, I brought you a fruitcake, dog. That's very thoughtful. I think this is the first time a neighbor uh... ever brought it. Dad, I'm talking with a new friend. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> I can't wait to taste it. Well, you go on and taste that, man. You're kind of creeping me out. I think I'm going to just go on and... Could you do me a favor? I need some help lifting something. It'll only take a second. I really appreciate it. You ain't in there making coats out of people's skins, are you? Skins? No. No, it's Dad. I need some help getting him out of the tub. Out the tub? Yeah, you'll take his legs. Now, watch out for his teeth. He's only got one, but he knows how to use it. got something for you. No, 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 you want my wife. I have nothing to do with it. I don't mind the noise. No, man. I brought you a fruitcake. Oh. Thank you. Um, are there drugs in this? <laughs> Traces of lipstick on my collar. Uh -huh. Baby, you gotta do some more to get this last dollar. Hold on, Pimpin'. Now, see, she got to earn that last dollar. You got it, Pimpalicious? I gotta be honest with you. When you guys first moved in, I thought, uh-oh, red alert, woo-woo, look out, property value. <laughs> My point is, and let this be a lesson to you, Skylar, you shouldn't judge someone until you get to know them. Now that we know each other and all that, why don't you talk to your wifey about dropping this boat thing? Excuse me. Yeah, did you talk to the underwriter? No, 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 don't do anything till I get there. Bad news, Bill? I got a deal that's about to go away. I got to get to the office, but I said I'd take Skylar to band practice. Don't worry, I'll take the little fella. Who do uh, That's very nice, but... Yeah. No, no, that's not what we discussed. Hold on. I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm in such a bind. The school's only five minutes from here. The way I drive, I have them there, too. <laughs> now, paint the picture for me. You walk in, there's this old dude laying in the tub. Now, how does he cut you? I want to talk about it, dude. Here we go, Sky Guy, safe and sound, brother. You know, I don't feel like practicing today. Come on, dogs, let's drive around some more. This ain't no taxi. Hold on, Doc, wait a minute now. We're trying to save our house here. We gotta get these people to like us, you know? Show the love, baby. What Red Man means, little man, is if you want to get good, you gotta practice. Yeah, but I hate the tuba. The only reason I play is because my mom makes me. She totally controls my life. You know she won't even let me eat red meat? Sometimes I just hate her. Yo, hold on now. Pump your brakes, little man. I don't ever want to hear you talk about your moms like that. Feel me? Because don't nobody look out for you like your moms, man. <laughs> now get on out of here with your big stop sign head. <laughs> uh, thanks for the ride, guys. Peace. One more, shorty. <laughs> Damn, I feel kind of bad for shorty, man. I wish it was something I could do for him. Oh, well, let's go to Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Shorty left his tuba strap. Let's go down the toe. Mind if I borrow this ass face? OK, but I'll need it back in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you going to do something about it? <laughs> hey, yo, Skylar, what's up, man? Is there a problem here? That's Method Man and Red Man. Hey, Scott, step inside my office, man. Hey, yo, 
These fools giving you problems, man? Yeah, can you beat him up for me? We don't even get down like that, little man. Besides, we handle the problem today. What happens tomorrow? Well, I was kind of hoping you guys could draw me again tomorrow. Nah, little man, you got to handle this problem yourself. That's the only way it's going to go away. That's right. You got to go over there, look him in the eye, raise that pimp hand up, and put the smack down. Smack down. Smack down. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Oh, my God. He went down like Jerry Cooney, like Smooth Cavassier, like Paris. Yo. Not helping. Yeah. We got Skylar's butt kick. Neighbor lady's got the bloody glove. What am I going to tell mama? You know, I tell her the truth. Yo, this ain't bad, neither. It's got fruit. It's got cake. Yeah, the truth. I'm just going to go right up to her, look her square in the eye, and then I'm going to say, mama, we moving. I know. You do? Little boy next door told me all about it. Oh, let's go. Come on, mama, let's get it on over with. No, oh, baby, I don't blame you. It's all your fault. Finally! What did I do? You gave up. That's what you did. You quit. Sometimes I want to quit this job, but I don't. Why don't you? I told you you could. That's what a quitter would say. That's your house. How are you going to let those people take away what's yours? What did I always teach you? Don't sleep with white women. No, the other thing. <laughs> that if I put my mind to it, I can get what I want? Yeah, like white women. Did I ask you? Did I ask you? Did I? Huh? Did I? Yo, it say right here, lemonade stands must conform to neighborhood architectural standards and signage must be of a tasteful font with absolutely no backwards lettering. Hey, they more strict up and hidden in a pen. Tell me about it. That's it. That's it. What's it? That. The thing you was percolating. Shut up. Will do. Look, all these rules up in here, man, I know we ain't the only ones breaking them, all right? They vote in five minutes. Doc, what I need you to do is dig up some dirt on neighbor lady. I'm gonna go store the rest of them, all right? All right, then I think that's been enough debate. We all seem to be in agreement. All those in favor. Whoa, 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 whoa. stop, 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 stop the boat. Y'all doing the wrong thing up in here. Okay, now we know where you stand on making the clubhouse map room handicap accessible. Oh, my bad, dog. Respect, man. Okay, then. The next order of business is the eviction vote. Yo, do the knowledge. Let me bark at y'all off the bills above expediently for a second, know what I mean? Anyone else? My son wants to talk. Oh. oh. <clears throat> we really aren't that different from each other. We respect the law. Yes. Big ones, anyway. We love our mothers. And just like most of y'all, we worked our asses off to be here. Okay. What in the hell is Doc? You know, um, speaking of asses, did any of y'all happen to catch Real Sex 10 last night? I know at least one of y'all got direct TV, because somebody been stealing our signal, Larry. <laughs> yeah, six feet five, three quarter inches, dog. Damn! She exactly on point. Mm -hmm. Count the flowers. Seven per bush. Damn. She good, man. So, they're all naked in the forest. <gasps> they got hair everywhere. There's this old dude in a swing beating a drum. And I'm thinking to myself, damn, 12 minutes into this thing, and I ain't seen no real sex yet. I think we've heard enough. Let's vote. No, excuse me, Miss Lady, man. But as long as I keep talking, I got the floor. It's called a filibuster. Don't you people watch C-SPAN? I know you do, Larry. <laughs> no leaves in the gutter. Right. Uh, uh, bird's nest. What kind of bird? I don't know. I think it's a robin. Or an eagle. Ooh, spring is here. People, you've been hoodwinked. Mm. You've been bamboozled. You've been led astray. Mm. I did not land on not in Shire Estates. Not in Shire Estates, landed on me! Yes! Rap, ball, rain, shines. Rap, ball, say it with me, people. Rap, ball, rain, shines. Yes. What's good? What's good, What's good? mom? Papa, brother. I'm, not, I'm just checking out. Oh, how you doing, man? What's good? Easy. Easy, dog. All right, let's see what we got here, huh? Oh, aha! Aha! Got something! Got 
gotcha. No spark arrester. Spark arrester. Hey, neighbor lady, did you know that you ain't had no spark arrester up in your chimney? And that is a direct violation of Article 89B. Aha! That's right. Busted. Uh-huh. You see that? We stay. <laughs> Actually, no, you're not. Um, my chimney was built in 1958, which predates the code, and thus we're grandfathered in. Time to vote. All in favor? Great. It's unanimous. Thank you so much, gentlemen. You need to put your house up for sale immediately. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Sorry, Mom. Oh, no, uh-uh. It's all right. I don't want to be any place I'm not wanted. Mm. Yeah, forget y'all. That's why we're gonna sell our house to Shug Knight. That's right. Just a moment. I vote for them to stay. You're kicking them out because they're not good neighbors. Look in the mirror. Neighbors, heal thyself. Not one of you has ever extended the branch of friendship like they did. They're my very best friends. Oh, God. Who in the hell is that? Hey, man, that's the serial killer sticking up for us, dog. Good looking out, Norman Bates. <laughs> they staying. <laughs> oh, well, just to show you, we have no hard feelings. I'm inviting all of you over to our place for fried meatloaf. Yeah. Bye, neighbor lady. Hey, Miss Chu, come on. <laughs> You all are really gonna love my fried meatloaf. Oh, mama. Yeah, mama. Red man ate the meatloaf. <laughs> you what? You what? We love you, New Jersey. Good night. <laughs> if I can.